This could be his undoing. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh. A Fox News producer alleges Tucker Carlson's team, not Tucker Carlson himself, apparently, but his team posted photos of Nancy Pelosi in a bathing suit around the office. How dare they? I mean, the question is, and? What's your point on that? So? I mean, that that's... Uh, that's a... <laughs> that's your big... Yeah, that's the big scandal now involving Tucker Carlson... They made fun of Nancy Pelosi in a bathing suit. Oh, no. Oh, that's just so misogynist. Oh, yeah. The employee filed a discrimination lawsuit against the network, accusing it of pervasive misogyny. Not a uh, not an attempt to, you know, make some money from Fox News at all. <laughs> I'm sure she was legitimately horrified. <laughs> that they put pictures up of Nancy Pelosi showing some cleavage. Oh, there's a lot more. Oh, that's than that nasty. Showing. Have you? Yeah, it's. I'm oof. glad we don't have that. I didn't know the story was coming up, uh, so I'm glad. I'm glad because I don't no. look for the photo, Kayla. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Do not. Now, if that was around the office, then it's just like, haha. Okay, yeah. I know. Yikes. But so what? Stop however, it. However, I'm on the side of this producer that's suing mm. or whatever. Okay. If the photos were in the break room where food is served. That's nasty. Because th- you could barf up your food. That's nasty. Yeah. Yeah. The lawsuit alleges the photos revealed Pelosi's cleavage with the joke being that she looked bad. No, well, that's not a joke. That's just fact. That's just cold, hard, unadulterated <laughs> fact. That she looked bad. <laughs> she did. Bre- breaking news. Come on. She's 82 years old. You don't want to see that. You don't want to see that. A Fox News producer uh, alleges that uh, that you know she's probably owed millions now. I'm sure. Um, the employee, Abby Grossberg, filed the discrimination lawsuit against Fox News, Carlson, and several executives and producers in Manhattan court on Monday. In the suit, she says, <laughs> on her first day working on the Tucker Carlson Tonight Show. In September 2022, she was shocked to be greeted by many large and blown-up photographs <laughs> of Nancy Pelosi in a plunging baby bathing suit revealing her cleavage. That's awesome. Really? You were shocked by that? Go home, then. Just leave. Yes. Go home. Yeah, right. You don't belong here, okay? You get over to MSNBC or mm-hmm. CNN and shut up. I'll bet they never... I mean, she's too sacred at those... At those networks for anybody to make fun of her. The images were plastered onto her computer and elsewhere throughout the office, she says. Welcome to the team. (laughs) (laughs) And the lawsuit alleges, I mean, this is amazing. Apparently the joke was that Speaker Pelosi looked terrible in a bathing suit. Wait, why would you come to that conclusion, young lady? (laughs) What what do you what wait a minute? She's the one they weren't just turned on by it. And wanted everybody to see it and feel the same way. How right. do you know? That's on you her. Know. That's on her. And That's she's interpreting <laughs> the, the plastering of Nancy Pelosi all over the office as some sort of dig at Pelosi. That's on you, Putin. That's, yeah, I'm sorry that you responded that way. That was your reaction. That's on you. Abby, that's on you. Mm-hmm. Okay, Pumpkin? All right. Uh, we'll get a lawsuit, too. Right? He called me Pumpkin. That's degrading and misogynist. Grossberg's lawsuit alleges the photos were one example of how pervasive the misogyny and drive to embarrass and objectify women was among the male staff. Shut up. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. You can't Uh, do that. If you're objectifying a woman, you're putting up, you know, um, uh, Margot Robbie. (laughs) You're putting up (laughs) Kate Beckinsale. In a, in a swimsuit. You're not putting up m- Nancy Pelosi, the Speaker of the House, who's 82! Read that sentence again. Because that is trying to have it both ways. Read that sentence one more time, please. 
It, uh, they were one example of how pervasive the misogyny and drive to embarrass and objectify women was among the male staff at Tucker Carlson. So tonight. you're objectifying and you're making fun of her at the yeah, same time? Yeah, which is it? Which is it? No, you can't do that. you yeah, got to have right. one or the other, lady. Come that's on. That's right. <sighs> and, and that's easily slapped down because you're not objectifying Nancy Pelosi. That's not what the goal <laughs> was there. I think you were on to something in the beginning <laughs> where they're mocking her uh but whatever. whatever i mean this is just stupidity the lawsuit also describes hostile and sexist behavior toward host maria bartiroma huh who executives called crazy menopausal and hysterical a producer for a different fox news show the lawsuit alleges called bartiromo not as credible as male anchors at the network <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> On for what basis? I don't know. Uh, a spokesman for Fox previously said in a statement to Insider that the company engaged an independent outside counsel to immediately investigate the concerns raised by Ms. Grosberg, which were made following a critical performance review. Uh, we will vigorously defend Fox against all of her claims, the statement continued. Well, good. Good. Because this is just... It's a money grab. And just stop it. Shut up. She began working for Carlson's show, Tucker Carlson Tonight, in July 2022, before Fox placed her on forced administrative leave on Monday, hours after it filed a preemptive lawsuit against her. Oh, good. In her lawsuit, uh, Grossberg alleges that while working on Tucker Carlson Tonight, she was isolated, overworked, undervalued, Denied opportunities for promotion. You got there in July of last year. What the hell promotion do you deserve already? <laughs> get, get out of here. And generally treated significantly worse than her male counterparts, even though, even when those men were less qualified than her. Of course, all men, I'm sure, are less qualified than her. So seven months, is that... When you should expect to be promoted. Yes. Should she yes. have her own That's, show by now? Yeah, she should have her own show and be an executive at Fox by yeah. now. I want a VP after my name. I've given uh -huh. a good seven months to this company, and I don't have a title <laughs> How ridiculous. that puts me on the upper floor. <laughs> wow. <laughs> on her second day working on the show, a producer asked Grossberg whether her former boss, Bartiromo, was, oh my, uh-oh. Oh, no. What happened? I'm going to say doing Kevin McCarthy, uh, according to the lawsuit. Wait, what? what, what that's that? a weird question. <laughs> okay, that might be problematic right there. I, I, don't, I don't know that that's appropriate. Uh, ahead of an <laughs> appearance. Is, wait, what am I missing here? Uh, oh, On boy. her second day. So on the first day, she has to put up with the Nancy Pelosi pictures. On the second day, a producer asks her whether Maria Bartiromo oh. Oh. was with Oh, my God. Kevin McCarthy in the biblical sense. That's not good. Oh, no, no. Kayla. Kayla, we told you no. Um, so oh, my. I know it's the breakfast. I just threw up in my yeah, mouth. Yeah, it's the breakfast hour. Yeah, that's and, not good. Um, that is not good. <laughs> that, I mean, that was that was a unilateral decision by one Kayla in the other room. Yep. <laughs> we will not be posting that all over the uh, office today. Hmm. Eh, maybe. Uh, ahead of an appearance on the show by then-candidate for Michigan Governor Tudor Dixon, staffers discussed whether Ms. Dixon or her opponent, Governor Gretchen Whitmer, was hotter. <laughs> <laughs> There's no question about that. Come on, that's not even a question. Are you serious? That's awesome. Tudor Dixon or Gretchen Whitmer? Um, <laughs> crazy eyes with Whitmer. <laughs> Crazy eyes. Oh, man. I mean, seriously, you can't even joke around. You can't talk about this kind of stuff anymore. You just can't. Because somebody's going to pretend to take offense to it. Now, this... And go uh, file a lawsuit somewhere. This, if we take the show full circle here, let's go back to earlier when the HHS director had no idea how many federal employees were showing up to work. Yeah. This is why you stay home. Right. Then you don't risk offending right. someone in the office. That's for sure. <laughs> One producer who himself had tattoos agreed that women with tattoos, nose piercings, or rainbow-colored hair were disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, could this get any dumber? The same producer 
also declared that a room designated for Fox News employees to pump breast milk was a waste of space. What is happening? <laughs> and should be replaced with a room of tanning beds. <laughs> okay, now that's, oh, that's no. Fox News right there. Oh, no. Right? For the guys to tan their giblets. Okay. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. Oh. Tadpole. <laughs> Tadpole time. Okay, I don't uh, even know. There's so many uh, possible answers to this question. If you're a dude, uh -huh. have you either A, done that, B, even I have considered that, no. C, even thought of that as a possibility, none of the above. or D, none of the above? None of the above. Thank you. I mean, I... I wouldn't even think to say it. <laughs> on That's what something occasion, I would never... On what occasion would you have the opportunity mm. to be like, oh, so uh, check this out. They're tanned. I mean, come on, man. What is... <laughs> the aliens get here when today? Uh, it doesn't say what time. Shoot. Just sometime during the course of the day. Okay. Well, let's so. go already. So let's see. Uh, is she, I'm trying to find out <laughs> how much she wants. Oh, uh, oh let's but see. But it doesn't say. Uh, Grossberg's discrimination suit also alleges lawyers for Fox coerced her into giving misleading statements in her testimony during the Dominion Voting System's $1.6 billion defamation case against Fox. Is that over now? No. I didn't really follow that. That's still going, still going on, yeah, isn't it? So. Yeah. Wait, uh, so, uh, doesn't say how much she's asking for, but you know it's millions. What? You know it's millions. Maybe tens of millions. Gosh, so ridiculous. Hold on. I'm just reading this LA Times. Uh-huh. <clears throat> uh, reading comprehension here is kind of a thing for me, so help me out here. A Fox News producer's discrimination lawsuit against Rupert Murdoch's Fox Corp. So this is a larger lawsuit than just, you know, aimed at the, just the, the Nancy stuff. Pelosi thing, yeah. Provides a wider glimpse into the network's alleged cultural problems, dealings mm. with prominent Republicans, and finger pointing following a one point six billion dollar defamation lawsuit that's the uh that's got to be the dominion one the 1. 1.6 yeah, billion yeah 1.6 billion okay. is dominion so yeah. her like you said I'm, I'm scrolling through here i do not see a yeah, number attached see to it. hers yeah okay 